I am Sadhush Gadankar. Today I am solving the control engineering problem. In the control engineering, we are focusing on the border plot. This is a problem. This is a quadratic equation problem. 242 s plus 5 divided by s s plus 1 s square plus 5s plus 121. Next, I will make this one as 240 2 5s a common. It becomes s yes divided by 5 plus 1 divided by s yes, s yes plus 1 121 as a common s yes square divided by 121 plus 5 divided by 121 s yes plus 1. Next, this becomes 1 2 1 0 and this is 1 plus 0 0.2 s. Yes. 0 0.2 1 by 1 1 divided by 5 is nothing but 0 0.2 yes divided by we'll bring this one as common 151 151 yes 1 plus yes and this can be written as 1 plus 5 yes plus what is the root of 121 is nothing but 11 11 that is yes divided by 11 whole square and this has to be 11 into 11 11 into 11 now further, it is nothing but 10, 10, 1 plus 0 0.2, yes, divided by, yes, 1 plus, yes, 1 plus, 1 div 5 divided by 11 is nothing but, uh, 5 divided by 11 is nothing but 0 0.454 or 0 0.45, yes, divided by 11, plus, s yes, divided by 11 whole square replace s yes, divided by j omega 10 1 plus 0 0.2 j omega divided by j omega 1 plus j omega 1 plus 0 0.45 w by omega j is outside kept outside now here it becomes what here if it's j omega it becomes square where j omega square is nothing but minus 1, minus 1, omega divided by 11 whole square. We have made it in terms of quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. Now, you can consider this. Okay, everything is fine. Now, find uh, corner frequency or control function. For corner frequency or control function for this one. It's factors. CF 10 nil j omega raised to minus 1 it is bottom we have taken upward nil next I'll consider this part 1 plus 0 0.2 j omega it will be WTC 1 by t that is 1 by 0 0.2 is nothing but 5 radian per second next 1 plus j omega raised to minus 1 WTCT is equal to 1 by t 1 by t is 1 1 radian per second last is 1 plus 0 0.45 omega divided by 11 j minus w divided by 11 whole square mtc is equal to omega n omega n is nothing but 11 this is nothing but omega n ok next we are going for the table we, we have to of our table in the table we have written it the factor control uh, uh, corner frequency slope net flow magnitude and phase for this one in the increasing order increasing order you have to write it increasing order first 10 it is nil for j omega it is nil j this is first one 1 next is 5 11 net slope for this one is 0 minus 20 because it is in bottom is also minus 20 now 0 minus 20 this will be 0 0 minus 20 minus 20 minus 20 minus 20 minus 40 minus 40 now this is above 20 then this becomes 20 here minus 20 minus 20 20 minus 20 minus 20 this one becomes minus 40 minus 40 and this becomes minus 60 add it it becomes minus 60. Magnitude 
20 log 10 10 20 log 10 10 this one minus 20 log omega this one minus log 10 raised to 1 plus omega square minus 20 log 10 root 1 plus 0 0.2 omega whole square and this becomes minus 40 log 10 omega divided by 11 omega divided by 11 now this one phase will be 0 this is 90 this will be minus 10 inverse uh, omega minus 10 inverse omega this will be minus 10 inverse 0 0.2 omega and this part will be uh, this one is positive this is positive this is positive okay because 20 is there 20 okay positive positive you have to write positive positive now this one minus tan inverse 0 0.45 w by 11 divided by 1 minus w divided by 11 whole square we have followed the procedure of this concept we have followed it based on this one we have written this one now after completion now instead of uh, going for the previous videos and now in the simplest form we are going to draw the graph by using the magnitude first i will consider the magnitude that is 20 log 10 is nothing but 20 db first i will draw the line of 20 db next next this one i will consider as 0 next i will consider this one 0 to 1 0 to 1 I will follow this one minus 20 db next 1 to 5 1 to 5 40 db 5 to 11 5 to 11 minus 20 db 11 to infinity 60 db 60 db this is the best way uh, rather than uh, going for multiply uh, and finding the m value this is the best way you can find out directly here okay first but you have to consider this as a zero line 20 db as a zero line then you have to follow the procedure it is similar to that of the same problem if you want to do the same problem you have to consider here one then only you can solve this one if it doesn't consider one the value will be very zero if you consider one whatever the graph obtained value will be same now i will draw the graph here We'll consider a graph graph here first 0 0.1 1 10 100 1000 now 60 is there uh, 0 minus 20 minus 40 minus 60 now this is the zero line for us but as per the data they have said it first 20 db if it is said minus 20 you have to you have to write over this one this is the positive 20 sorry these are the positive 20s if it is minus 20 you have to draw above if it is minus plus to minus 20 you have to draw below if it is a minus 20 you have to draw above if it is plus 20 you have to draw below if it is minus 20 minus 40 now for this one This is nothing but 20 log 10 is the 20 db. After doing this one, from 0 to 1, first, now first I will draw the dotted line as a reference lens for us. This is a 1, from 1 to I'll draw a dotted line, from 40 to 1, every time you have to draw from this point only. reference line now first is nothing but 0 to 1 20 db 0 to 1 first uh, first line has to be drawn over this point now this is 20 i will follow the 20 here i will follow i will move here this is one for me draw a line this is one this is nothing but minus 20 db next one to five 
it is 40 db this is 1 1 to 5 means this is 5 40 40 means exactly parallel to this one bring the roller scale move here move here up to 5 this is 5 this is also one of the easiest method to draw the uh, magnitude okay after this one this is nothing but uh, minus 40 db because it's uh, parallel to minus 40 db next is 5 to 11 is 20 db 5 to 11 20 db means this is the 20 db line 20 db now it is 11 it is 10 this will be 11 here 11 this is minus 20 db next 11 to infinity it will be 60 60 means this one that's it now GCF is nothing but here around 3.4 radian per second this is also one of the easiest method you know to solve the problem okay this completes here next is about 180 this remains the same here same it doesn't changes here this is minus 180 this is magnitude this is minus 180 this is minus 150 minus 120 minus 90 minus 210 minus 240 now for this one what we have to do make this as a phi now here you have to use the formula phi is equal to minus 90 minus tan inverse omega plus tan inverse uh, 0.2 omega minus tan inverse 0.45 omega divided by 11 divided by 1 minus omega divided by 11 whole square now consider this as a um, omega and this is the phi value now substitute the value of omega as 0 0.1 for 0 0.1 substitute the value here 0 0.1 you will obtain as 90 minus 94.7 and next I will consider as a phi for phi the value will be minus 136 next 8 minus 149 for 10 minus 177.8 for 20 the line is crossed 261.63 degree now this is the face one this is the face roughly I will draw 94 94 136 136 rather than going for this one 150 I will go 8 go for 8 here 150 around here 150 149 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. this is the 8 next to 10 for 10 this is 10 this is 10 here 177 something for 20 260 around 260 for 20 roughly if you go for drawing this diagram This is the way it appears. Now, exactly it appears out of the 10 here. 10 point something it appears. Extend the line here. This will be PCF is nothing but around 10.1. Radian per second or degree, and this one is obtained. Now, this is the GM value. GM value is nothing but 4, 8, 12, 4, 8, 12, 4, 8, 12, uh, 14, 14 degree, you can call it or dB. dB. And this one, this 
gc we got it uh, sorry this is pm if you measure the value of pm it will be 46 it will be 46 both are falling inside now system will be stable system is stable this is one of the way of uh, doing the graph i am satish gadilkar thank you very much